Good morning, folks. If you missed Lightning Fires, the new State of the Climate report, the SVL animation of the Russian meteor, and the binary self-destruct sequence, you need to watch last night's evening news. Top article today is a historical perspective on significant troubles during the Bronze Age being potentially caused or complicated by climate shifts. Public Library of Science has the original work. Typhoon Ator has been deadly, sinking ships in Hong Kong, and now the remnants head west to Vietnam. Here's the mid-May water temperature for the tropics. Okay, now here is where the current water temperatures are. Not surprising that only now do we see the Atlantic tropics ramp. First cell won't break any records, but it's headed for the Florida bend and dropping quite a bit of rain. Coming off of Africa, we'll probably need another day or two to see if this will be a threat, but it's also dropping a bunch of rain. Copy and paste my Australia and New Zealand comments from the last eight videos here. Same story. Next low is about to crest the UK, but will initially stream across Germany before moving south as a whole. The energy is rushing right up the middle of the United States. NOAA says severe weather is possible there tonight, but also in the northwest and into Canada. That East Pacific low is indeed making good on those coastal storm concerns. Solar flaring has not regained form. They keep popping mid-sea level flares, but the complexity here deserves better. Even if partially in decay right now, these spots have what it takes magnetically. Also got some new blood on the eastern limb. Between about five tiny CMEs and the coronal hole stream from our dark northern leviathan, the solar wind speed is elevated, but the density maintains form as well, unexpected during coronal holes. We have minor geomagnetic instability on and off, with the electron flux significantly more reactive to the rising protons. Top space weather story this morning is the megafilament release that began last night. Endless spirals are not updated, but it does appear that the majority will miss ahead of our current orbital position and slightly south. Even if the edge of the expanding ejecta cloud gives Earth a glancing blow, Cactus diagnoses the CME as being too slow to cause any major damage. The current coronal hole based quake watch ended two weeks without a significant quake as the Earth popped four of them in 48 hours. We'll have only a brief downtick before the next opening swings in. This one, again, on the solar equator but not as large as the current hole. Earthquake watch scored down slightly to a 7 with the potential to go lower with or without a last heave. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.